we'll get started. Okay, then. You're not a member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Yamigishi-san? Oh, yes. He's the one I was just telling you about. Ah, so he's the one, huh? I've heard a lot about you from Yamigishi-san. We're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned you. I'm really happy you decided to stop by on your own. And, um... I'm Keisuke Hiraga. Pleased to meet you. He should be the one introducing himself to you, Keisuke Senpai. You're the club leader, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Still the same as ever. Yamagishi-san is back, and now we're getting a new member. Maybe I should be a little more active here. Wait, aren't you a third year Hiraga Senpai? Don't you have entrance exams coming up? No, I, uh... Don't worry about that. Hey, do you have an eye for art? <laughs> huh, 
then maybe we'll get to learn a thing or two from you. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. Let's get you signed up, shall we? Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So don't forget to turn in your registration form. The art club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But we don't meet on the days leading up to exams. We should be studying then anyway. You don't have to come every day, so just try to show up every now and then. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same club? Okay, I'll get this all processed. Looking forward to painting with you. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. There is something I wish to discuss with you, so please come to the Velvet Room post-haste. I believe this matter is of great import to you. I shall be anticipating your arrival. for you.
Very well, then. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Very well, then. Let's wrap up for today. Good work, everyone. <sighs> All done. All right, let's clean up and go home. really figure out what's causing the pain. It might lead to serious complications down the road. Does anywhere else hurt? Are your nose and throat all right? Does it feel like your head is in a vice? Oh boy, here we go. Heisuke Senpai strikes again. Yamagishi-san won't be going anywhere for a while. someone isn't feeling well, he always tries to figure out what's wrong. And it doesn't matter when or where. Once he starts, it takes forever. Heisuke Senpai's dad's the director of a big hospital, and he's an only child. I guess he just can't stand to see people suffer. I bet he'll end up going to medical school. So the pain's originating from the back of your head? Could you turn around, please? Don't worry, it's just a chronic tension type headache. Most likely the result of stress. You might be spending too much time in front of the computer. Try to get outside and exercise more. It must seem funny to get medical advice from the head of the art club. I was worried I'd come down with the flu or something. In that case, I can do a more thorough check. Could you remove your shirt? Also, open your mouth and stick out your tongue. What? Uh, that's okay. I'm fine. Besides, our dorm isn't far, so he can accompany me back. Uh, sorry, sorry. Wait, you two live in the dorms? I guess I see it in Yamagishi-san. She seems like the well-adjusted type. I bet you're a great cook. Do you take care of the laundry? Is living alone hard? Sorry, Yamagishi-san. I forgot about your condition. I know it's close, but I don't think you should be walking home. Why don't I call you a taxi? Though a bumpy taxi ride might make your headache worse. Maybe a limousine would be better. Uh, that's okay. I'm fine, really.
see you back. Let's see. novels like this? I wonder what that exactly means. The core fan base for the sci-fi genre can get pretty picky. It's the ones who answer like you that turn out to be the hardcore fans. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt while you were reading. If you don't mind, can you let me know your thoughts once you finish it? I didn't notice the time. How far did you get? Wow! You read that much already? Huh? I made a lot of progress too. Was I more focused than usual or? If you don't mind, do you think we could read here again sometime? I used to think reading was only a solo activity. But now, I think reading with someone helps me immerse myself deeper into the fictional world. I'm here whenever I can spare the time, so come by if you can. I'd be happy to have you. Alright, that's enough for today. Good night. Sorry you went out of your way to stop by, but it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's nice not having those hyenas around. I see the way they look at me. Anyway, it's that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I've been trying to narrow down my potential suspects. So, as you can see, we can't exactly hold a meeting right now. You can leave if you want. 
see. If you're not in a hurry, can you spare a few minutes? I'd like to share something. A man without position, honor, or education? What does he cling to as he struggles through life? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? Well, a TV anchor woman was injured on the job while reporting on a story. The TV station executives deemed it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine caught wind that they were hiding something, the execs threw the writer under the bus. They said it was the writer who covered up the truth. They turned him into a scapegoat. And now, that man is blacklisted from the TV industry. His life's calling. The same man who taught me the meaning of sincerity. In today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, I want to lead an organization that fosters strength. And to do that, order is essential if I want to keep those with power in check. Well, seems like a good spot to call it a day. Shall we head out together? Do you have a moment? I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Who knows? But I am a little curious. Guess I'll head straight back today. Koro-chan, shake! <laughs> oh, he did it! What a smart dog! Oh, welcome back! Hey there! Sure! Go on, Koro-chan! know how to say hi, right? <laughs> His name's Koro 
Maru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh, this dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? I think it was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. But he refuses to let anyone take him in. Why, just the other day, my son... Oh my goodness, look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. Such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? Is he? What's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. Sorry. More importantly, isn't the chairman coming today? We should probably go get ready. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Korochan. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I gathered you all here because I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moons. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. We can think of it like their class or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and, well, it's simply fascinating. Why are you so excited about it? So... Ah, <laughs> right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There are 12 in all. And eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but... What are they after? That's a good question. And that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place?
sorry. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid.
Accepting a request? Like that. 